morning. Welcome to Canyon Point Elementary in Tomball. I have some very special second graders I'd like to introduce to you. Would everybody wave to our audience? We have some really enthusiastic students that are going to help us with some demonstrations who are going to do the weather live coming up. But what I want to do before we start, because we gave a very special happy birthday to our assistant principal here today, is I'd like to read to you a children's book that I wrote a few years ago. It's called A Wild Ride on the Water Cycle, a Jake and Alice adventure. Jake is my firstborn son. His name is Jacob. I had, when I wrote this book, two daughters, one named Amber and one named Abby, and I could not pick one over the other to name this character. So my grandmother's name is Alice, and so Alice in this book represents my grandmother, and both of these names represent two drops of water. So Jake and Alice hang out together just like you do with your friends. They laugh and play and sometimes even cry together. But they're very different from your friends. They are drops of water. Now Jake and Alice met in a lake so long ago uh, that there were still dinosaurs in the water and on the land. Jake, who is shy and quiet, saw these strange creatures all around. When he noticed Alice, who was brave and adventurous, he swam over to her, not feeling so alone anymore. She said, don't fret. It's nice to meet you, Alice, but they will not hurt you. Jake didn't know if he believed her, but he splashed around with her anyway. Before long, he had forgotten his fear and made a new friend. Now a Tyrannosaurus Rex was drinking at the edge of the lake. Ooh, let's get closer so we can see its big teeth, said Alice. Jake just quivered. They drifted closer to the dinosaur and the dinosaur swallowed them whole. Whoa, what's happening? They shouted as they slipped and slid down the dinosaur's long throat. When they find it, finally landed in the stomach, it was pitch black. Alice said, well, I guess that wasn't such a good idea. They stayed close to each other in the dark, so it wasn't scary. But with no sunlight, their days began to run together. They sloshed around telling jokes and stories until one day their whole world shook. The mighty dinosaur fell to the ground and died. Now, when any living thing dies, the earth absorbs the water inside the body. Jake and Alice were pulled from the blackness of the dinosaur into the warm brown of the earth. Plant and tree roots surrounded them like a spider's web. Jake got scared again. Don't worry, Jake, said Alice. I'm here. I won't leave you. Now, Jake remembered how she had gotten them swallowed by the T-Rex, but she was a good friend, so he didn't say anything. Now, like all living things, plants and tree roots need water to survive. Water drops carry vital nutrients to vegetation. Alice held Jake's hand as the tree root drew them in for nourishment. From the root, they traveled up the tall trunk, out onto a limb, and into the veins of a leaf. Everything looked bright and green, and the two friends swayed gently in the breeze. They relaxed, feeling the warmth of the sun. As the temperatures warmed, Jake and Alice began to feel funny. Suddenly, they felt themselves floating away. Alice, where, where are you, called Jake. I'm right here, Jake, but where are you? The friends had transformed from liquid water into invisible water vapor. They were in danger of losing each other. Now they were both scared. Alice grasped around in the air until she found Jake's hand. I've got you. She grabbed him just in time. What started out as a slow ascent quickly turned into a race upward. They felt like they were in a rocket launching into space. They were caught in an updraft, a part of a storm that brings moisture from the ground to the very tops of the clouds. As they climbed higher and higher, the temperature got colder. Jake and Alice began to shiver and then to freeze. Their bodies started collecting ice. The ice built up until they were in the center of a baseball-sized piece of hail. Once they reached the top of the cloud, they shot back to the earth at 100 miles an hour. This was a wild ride. On the ground, Jake and Alice melted quickly. The sun shone on them, evaporating them for a second time. Oh no, here we go again, said Alice. But this time, they didn't travel nearly as fast or travel as far. They turned from invisible water vapor into drops of rain and fell, landing with a splash into a river. Now Jake was getting used to this adventure. This is fun, Alice. 
he called, as they raced down the rushing river. When they slowed down, they found themselves in a huge ocean. This body of water would be their home for a long time. For many years, Jake and Alice explored the seas. They swam through all the oceans of the world. They played with dolphins and whales in the Pacific, saw colorful coral reefs near Australia, and even hung out with penguins in the Antarctic. This journey took 2,000 years. It didn't seem very long to Jake and Alice. They were best friends now. They splashed happily around the world, talking endlessly about the fascinating sights they saw along the way. One especially hot summer day in the Atlantic Ocean, Alice noticed thunderstorms a short distance away. She was experienced enough to know that soon she and Jake would become water vapor again and begin their journey to the sky. She was not worried. But this time was different. As Jake and Alice rocketed up, they condensed into a raging swirl of clouds. It was loud, windy, and scary. Stay together, Alice shouted. What? Jake called, spinning away from her. Alice caught Jake's hand just as the clouds started to circle the eye of the storm. As the storm moved into the Gulf of Mexico, Jake and Al's speed picked up. They held on for dear life as the winds around the center of the hurricane twisted at 125 miles an hour. Jake thought his life was over. Finally, the hurricane made landfall on Galveston Island in Texas. Jake and Alice turned from a spinning cloud into huge raindrops. Friction and gravity flattened all raindrops, so they fell to the ground shaped like hamburgers. This wasn't a gentle rain shower, it was a torrential downpour. Jake and Alice were part of a powerful flood that damaged homes and cars and uprooted trees. Oh no, said Alice, did we do this? After many hours, the flood waters receded. Jake and Alice seeped back into the earth. This time they passed all the roots. They sank deeper and deeper into the earth until they reached a pool of fresh water. They had landed in an aquifer, the source of our drinking water. What's next, thought the friends. They waited and waited for their next adventure, but absolutely nothing happened. Water can be in the ground 10,000 years and go as deep as 1,000 feet, sometimes more. Jake and Alice did a lot of swimming and talking. If they weren't best friends who had been on many adventures together, they would have gotten really, really bored. It seemed to take an eternity, but Jake and Alice finally climbed up the surface of the earth. Underground pipes pulled them into a kitchen refrigerator freezer. Ooh, it's cold in here. Where are we? They turned from water into a frozen cube of ice. It was the coldest they had ever been. Even hugs couldn't warm them up. Too cold to even talk, they stayed in the dark freezer for a few days. Finally, the freezer door opened and the light went on. A boy named Tom reached in and scooped them up. He put them into a glass of water. Jake and Alice began to melt. The boy put the cup to his mouth. Not again, said Jake. Alice laughed. I wonder if he knows he's drinking the same water that dinosaur drank. Jake laughed too. Down the hatch they went. It was just as dark as it had been in the T-Rex. Tom finished his water and went outside to play soccer. It was a hot sunny day. As his body temperature rose, he started to perspire. Guess who came out of the pores of Tom's forehead to cool him off? That's right, Jake and Alice became beads of sweat. They soon evaporated off Tom's skin. They rose gently to the sky and became a small part of a beautiful, puffy, cumulus cloud. The clouds provided shade to Tom and his friends who played beneath them. Jake and Alice floated gently above the United States as clouds. Um, on nice days, they transformed into cirrus clouds, soaring 30,000 feet in the sky. In San Antonio, Texas, they hugged the ground as fog, which is a stratus cloud that forms on the Earth's surface. They saw stunning mountain peaks, and the view of the ocean from up this high was breathtaking. As summer turned to fall and fall to winter, the beautiful clouds below them faded, and the temperatures got cold again. Jake and Alice started falling from the sky. As Jake looked over at his friend, he realized she had never looked so beautiful. They had become snowflakes gliding gently to the ground. They landed on a frozen lake in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Ice skaters enjoy the winter, laughing and swirling around the ice. Jake and Alice love watching the skaters. The friends had become part of the ice, so they had a really good view. Three months later, as winter 
turned to spring, the friends melted into the lake. Looking around, Jake realized they had returned to the very same spot they had met all those years ago. There were even creatures drinking off the shore, but none were as big as the dinosaurs. Alice clutched Jake's hand. Let's stay in the middle for a while and just swim. Jake laughed and splashed her. Aren't you ready to take another wild ride? Don't worry, Alice. I'll protect you. The end. So what we did was we went through the entire story of the water cycle. You're going to learn about this if you haven't already, but the water cycle includes these terms. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, evapotranspiration, groundwater, and runoff. And what we're going to do today is a few demonstrations to talk about the water cycle and what makes our weather. So first of all, what you have to understand about the water cycle, it is a cycle. So if you run on a track, and don't get off the track, you will keep going forever and ever and ever. It's a cycle. So all the water that's here now has always been here, which means, of course, what Jake and Alice discovered is we drink the same water that dinosaurs drank. How do we know that? Because we cannot create or destroy water. Let me show you this. I'm going to, let's make a Jake and Alice right now. One drop, two drops. I put it in my hands. You saw that go down, right? But if I go like this, and I rub my hands together, did I destroy Jake and Alice? No. But they're not here anymore. Where did they go? On your hands. They're not on my hands. My hands are dry. They evaporated. So they're still here, but they changed phase. They went from liquid into invisible water vapor. Let's do a different experiment here with this. Two's really strong and has strong muscles. Come on up. Yep. So we're going to put a couple drops in here. One, two, three, four. Okay. What's your name? Logan. Logan. Everyone say hi to Logan. Hi, Logan. So, Logan, you saw that we put drops in here. Can you actually, you know, you know what, Logan? Can you see the temperature? Do you see the number there? 22. It's, say it again. 22. It's 22 degrees Celsius. Okay. We're going to close this. Logan, use your muscles and pump like that. Good. Use all your muscles. So do it until you can't do it anymore. So what we're doing is we're adding heat to the bottle. Logan's going to get to the point where he's going to have a hard time pumping it because he's not able to put any more air in. You got it, Logan? Okay, Logan, I want you to... Oh, good. You did a good job. Yeah, I can't really go up anymore either. Okay, tell me what the temperature is now. 26. 26. So, Logan, increase the temperature by 4 degrees Celsius. So, we put how many drops of water in here, Logan? Four. Come on up. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Oh, my God. So, did you see that change phase? We had four drops of water... But did you see how we, Logan created a cloud? So we went from water drops to invisible. Well, we went from water drops to, to condensation, to evaporation, to condensation. So we actually made it change phase. And now it's floating around here somewhere else. Does everyone understand that? Okay. Good job. Everyone give Logan a big round of applause. So we had precipitation. We had two drops of rain. And we have evaporation, what we exactly did. Here's a river. That is exactly what we just did. This is a video, and it doesn't play all the time. But basically, you're seeing water drops on this pillow. And what you'll see is the clouds above it dancing. OK, let's talk about condensation now, basically what we just did. So on a day like today, if we had moisture around, we would start with sunny skies. The sun heats the earth. Air heats up and rises, just like what Logan did. Clouds condense and rain and storms form. So it's changing from now gas to liquid. But what I want to do is need, I need four people here to help me. This does not require any kind of strength here. So come on up right there in the black, yes. Uh, yes, Nike, come on up. Right here, yes, come on up, black shirt. And then another boy, sure, come on up. Okay, come on up, everybody. Oh, oh never mind. Okay, I need, I need one more. Uh, let's see, we got two boys, we need a girl. A girl. Uh, come on up. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Tegan. Who? 
Tegan. Tegan. Abel. Abel. Carter. Carter. Madeline. Madeline. Okay, everybody say hi to them. Hi. What we're going to do is show how heat rises. You're going to make a cup. Make your hands in a cup, both hands. Be very careful. And then you're going to cup it. You're going to close it in. Okay? Close it in. Ooh, you have warm hands. What's happening? It's going up. Now, depending how warm your hands are, you can make the water boil. Let's see how warm everybody's hands are. Cup it. You've got to do a really good job cupping it so it warms up. Okay? Try not to leave me. Oh, so this is good. Look at this. Do you see how it's boiling up? So think about this as the weather. What's happening is heat is heating the ground. Because there's moisture, it's lifted. So what we usually see is condensation to becoming clouds. But in this case, what you see is the water going from the bottom to the top. So you see it coming up. It's coming up. It's boiling a little bit. So do you see how the heat is affecting that? So the same thing here. That's how condensation occurs. It's heating the Earth's surface. And then it's lifting the moisture from the ground. It's going up. The clouds are condensing. And then eventually it comes back down in the form of rain. Good job, guys. Big round of applause. Good job. So the question is, how do we get rain then? So we're doing little demonstrations, but how do we make this rain? First of all, it has to do with high and low pressure. You need low pressure to lift. So wind travels from high pressure to low pressure. So I'm going to have to speed up because I'm going slow. So if I'm high pressure and you're low pressure, then do you see that? Wind is traveling from high pressure to low pressure. It, does it hurt? It doesn't hurt, does it? It's just, it's just air. It does not hurt. Okay? It does not, it does not hurt, trust me. But that's how it goes. But if there's high pressure, high pressure is heavy. So the air above us, if it's high pressure, like on a day like today, the air is heavy. We don't feel it, but you know who feels it? Clouds. Well, good. But clouds, <laughs> Jesus, yes. But clouds cannot go into high pressure. All right? Low pressure lifts, so it's light. So we need another example here. I need another strong kid. Okay? Two people. Yes, right there in the gray. Um, and then right there. Yeah, come on. Quick. You ready? So, this is going to represent high pressure. This is the clouds. Okay? So high pressure sinks. What's your name? Hold on, let me get the mic. What's your name? Autry with a T. Autry with a T. Autry, I want you to just get your two fingers and lift straight up. Autry, tell me what's happening. Just as easy. Why, just lift it straight up. Why, why can't you lift it? I can't lift it because well, it's high pressure. You can't lift it because it's high pressure. So high pressure sinking this. It's heavy. You want to try? Whoa, where'd you come from? What's your name? Hans J. Hans J. Try to lift this up straight up. Okay. Oh, he's using two hands. Okay. I can't lift it. You can't lift it. How heavy is high pressure? So come on up since I had you. Real quick, try it again. Go ahead and lift it. I'm just putting the mic here for you. It doesn't come up. So do you see how heavy high pressure is? Good job, guys. Way to demonstrate high pressure. Okay, go back and sit back down. High pressure is heavy. Low pressure is light. When low pressure is around, all the moisture and all the heat will lift it up, condense, and it will become rain. So here's how I forecast the weather. I have radar, I have satellite, I have recording stations, I have surface maps, I have models. I also look outside. If the rock is wet, it's raining. If the rock is swaying, it's windy. If the rock is hot, it's sunny. If the rock is cool, it's overcast. If the rock is white, it's snowing. If the rock is blue, it's cold. If the rock is gone, tornado! And then I make the graphics. And I do my job just like you're going to see three of your students who are going to come on up now and do the weather. So come on up. What they're going to do is they're going to do the weather for your school, for Tomball. They're going to give the current temperatures. They're going to give a barbecue forecast for tomorrow. And they're going to show you what happens tomorrow into Friday. So come on up. We have, let me introduce you to see, I'm going to, let's do Giovanni first. Giovanni, come on up. I want you to be first. Everybody say hi to Giovanni. Hi, Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni, when you're in place, go ahead and you know what to do. Okay, Giovanni, it's all you. Um, hi, my name is Giovanni Sibrian, and I, I, I'm, I'm from Canyon Point Elementary School, and, and, today, and today is 82 
is 82 degrees and 79 degrees at 5 p.m. And then at 7 p.m. in the night, it's going to be 74 degrees. And at 9 p.m., it's going to be 70 degrees. Oh. I made a mistake. I gave Geo the wrong clicker. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And so Wednesday, today is 80 degrees, and Thursday is 82 degrees, and low for 64 degrees. And then Friday is going to be 76 degrees, and a low of 56 degrees. And right now on Tallball, it's 70 degrees, and and it's... It's five time. It's five degrees warmer um, than yesterday. And um, on the on barbecue cook off, if you're going to go on the rodeo t tomorrow, um, it's going to be eighty two degrees and seventy. Nine degrees at 5 p.m. Everybody give Giovanni a big round of applause. Giovanni, come here. You can watch yourself. Giovanni would have kept going if I let him. He did the forecast twice. So, Gio, there's a delay on this. So you can watch and see how you look and how you did. Did Gio do a great job? Yeah. Great job. Okay, who's next? We have five minutes left, so come on up. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let me get you in place, and then it is all you. Hi, my name is Claire. Today is 70 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be 82. <coughs> On Friday, it's going to be 79. Bye. Good job. Good, Claire, good job. Everyone give Claire a big round of applause. <laughs> Caroline, come on up. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm going to give you this. Make sure you're on the right map. Okay. You are all set. Okay. Hi, my name is Caroline. And I am a second grader at King and Point Elementary. So, um, tomorrow it will be warm like today. And on Friday, it'll be a little cooler. And if you're going to the rodeo on Friday, um, it will be, I don't know. Bye-bye. Good job. Can I have all my forecasters up here with me? We have a couple of minutes left. Giovanni, Caroline, Claire, come on up. We have three minutes left. First of all, Giovanni, great. He did the forecast twice. If you saw, you can see behind you. Um, first, first of all, how, how was that? What was the experience like? The experience was like, um, it was so cool. It was cool? You had yeah. fun? Okay, yeah. so Caroline, what was the hardest part of doing it in front of a green screen live? Like remembering the parts. <laughs> remembering the parts. That's good. That's good. You have to remember what the forecast is, what the temperature is, and what's going to happen. Claire, what did you think? How, what was the what? What did you think? How'd you like doing it? Good. You liked it. Were you nervous? Mm -hmm. Do you know? It's like when everybody starts, even when they start in their twenties or their thirties, everybody is always nervous. And you guess what? You're getting the nerves out in the second grade. So when you do this in your 20s or 30s, you're going to be a pro with whatever you do when they turn a camera on you. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else you guys want to say about the experience? 
Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, the experience was cool because I love weather since I was four years old. Oh, that's and awesome. I, and I love tornadoes, and that's why I have this shirt right here. Let's see what the shirt reads. It says, just a boy who loves tornadoes. And, nice. And, and I, oh, I always want, uh, I've been waiting to be on the news. Well, you know what? You were just on live, and I'll send you guys all a link uh, so your parents, your grandparents, your friends, and all your teachers in the school district can see. Hey, you guys, how much time do we have, Renee? We've got one minute left. Are you guys ready to say goodbye? Yeah. Not quite left. You guys go back. Go have a seat. We have one minute. Is there anything special we need to do in this last minute? Uh, we we got to do that, but we just need 15 seconds for that. Anyone have a quick question to ask? Ooh. Come on up. Logan. We'll get Logan again because Logan's talkative. Okay? Let's see if Logan talks about Jesus again. Okay, what do you got, Logan? Jesus is not. Nah. <laughs> you don't have to, Logan. Um, I've been waiting to do this for a very long time, and my all, half of my family was wanting me to be a webcast. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you guys, you can do whatever you want. You're in Seg right now. You work hard. You can do and accomplish anything you want. It's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, are you ready to say goodbye? Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds, wave goodbye.